Up next in this review series is one of my favorite all-time Carpenter films, one of my favorite horror films of all time anyway, 1988's They Live. And you will buy it. Right buy. Time. Consume. Yeah. Actually, along with uh, Prince of Darkness, which came out like a year or so later, I think that these, those two were pretty much the last in the classic Carpenter horror films. Yeah. You know, even though this is a little bit more of a sci-fi slash horror. But, you know, just that feel of movie was gone after that point for some reason. I don't know what exactly happened. But, yeah, they live an interesting story. When we interviewed John Carpenter, he was at a WrestleMania and handpicked Roddy Piper pretty much. Uh, to star as the lead role in this film. And this was the, I think it was the feature length film debut for Hot Rod. I believe so, but he would go on to do such masterpieces as Hell Comes to Frog Town, though. Woo. But this one was actually an amazing idea for a film. It takes off on like the invasion of the body snatchers kind of theme, which is um, Roddy Piper's this construction worker slash vagrant ish kind of guy who ends up finding a stack of sunglasses that allows him to see that the true nature of some of the people that he's around, that they're aliens, actually. And if he puts sunglasses on, he can see them for what they truly are. If he takes them off, they all look like just people. And plus, everything's like all propaganda and advertising and all this That's stuff. That's true, too. I agree. That's how things are. That That's is how the way it is, it is now. Right? Yeah, That's where it is. So it's, it's, it's up to him, basically to save the entire world from alien takeover and kill, kill Buck Flowers and have sex with Meg Foster. Yeah, a young Meg Foster. Yeah. Not old Saddlebag Meg. <laughs> um, but yeah, the Shout Factory actually came out with this. This is in their first run, I guess, of Blu-rays. And let me say, of all the ones that I've seen from Shout Factory so far, I think that this one, for some reason, looked the best. It did. I don't know why either, but I agree. Like it... And we've seen a lot of them now, yeah. probably all of them almost. And like, this one is the best transfer of any of these that I've seen. Too. Yeah, I know some people are getting, uh, you know, they they get the DVD of some versions instead of the Blu-ray. This is definitely not one you want to do that with because the Blu-ray, they did an amazing job with the transfer on this, and it's actually uh, got a decent amount of special features on it as well. It does. We could talk about audio commentary with director and actor. Uh, John Carpenter and Ray Piper. New interview with director John Carpenter. Making of They Live, which is actually really good, and a bunch of other stuff on there too. Yeah, and also like the cool thing about these. Uh, although I didn't really change this one out because this cover kicks fucking ass. Uh, Dude Designs did this. Tom Hodge, I think, is the guy's name. Um, they have a reversible cover. If you want to, you can reverse it out. And you have the original cover in here, too. Look at that. So that's pretty cool. I don't want to change it, though. I always did like the original cover. I actually like this one better, though. That's well, yeah, who doing. doesn't? That's like the best cover they ever made, I think. Yeah. But why is this movie, to me, so awesome, other than the fact that the story is awesome? It's because it's infinitely quotable. There's like a thousand Roddy Piper quotes in this damn thing, too. Yeah. And uh, what the fight scene with uh, Keith David, David Keith, and... Uh, Party yeah, which has been like spoofed on South Park and everybody a lot of people knows about it. Say it's the best fight scene ever in a movie. So there you go. They live, directed by the legendary John Carpenter. I'm a creepy Kentucky. And I'm Uncle Bill. And you've been listening and watching the innovators and ballers and chalk callers of Horror Talk Radio and the creators of all things that are good. Deadbeard.com. Boy, boy. Boy.